Could have been seconds from being dead. Maybe one more stab wound. A young woman who barely survived a gruesome assault by a jilted stalker speaks out as her admitted attacker learns his punishment. It is a chilling story of obsession turned violent that we've been tracking for nearly two years. Christopher Amaral of Bristol was sentenced today for stabbing a former co-worker more than 20 times outside her Cranston home because she did not want to go out with him. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly caught up with the victim and her family outside the courthouse. He joins us live now with their emotional reaction. A judge here at Superior Court in Providence gave a Bristol man the maximum 20 years in prison for trying to kill a woman who refused to be his girlfriend. His stalking. 35-year-old Christopher Amaral of Bristol showed no emotion as a judge summarized the evidence against him. And knifed her over and over and over again. Prosecutors proved Christopher Amaral pulled off what they called a cold and calculated plan to kill a woman who had rejected his romantic advances. They say he stalked 21-year-old Andrea Wilmot outside her house in Cranston and that when she came home in July of 2011, Christopher Amaral stabbed her 20 times so viciously that a piece of the knife broke off in her skull. The crime committed. Today, a judge gave him the maximum, 20 years in prison. I don't, I don't like to think about it. I, I could have been seconds from being dead. Maybe one more stab wound. I thank God every day that he would take her from me. Um, the knife breaking, I think, um, unfortunately, it was in her skull, but I think it saved her. I felt like I was the prey and he was the predator. That's a paradox, isn't it? That the vicious nature of the crime ultimately spared her further injury in your mind? Yes, absolutely. The doctors truly believed that if the knife didn't break, she wouldn't be with us today. Andrea Wilmot and her parents are grateful that Christopher Amaral got the maximum, but even at that, they're already worried about what may happen when he gets out. Live at Superior Court with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.